Hey, it's Mitch and Native Survival. Today we're going to talk about sharpening a stone primitively with stones you can find. Alright, so here's some stones that I have found in my travels. And, um, you know, whenever I find a stone that has a nice flat edge, you know, I just pick it up, throw it in my rock, and know that one day it will come in handy, right? You know, whenever you find a resource in the woods, you know, don't just walk by and just assume you'll be able to find it again. Um, I really like to, you know, build up my tools as I go. You know, it's like, instead of having to find a flat stone at the time I need it immediately, um, if I happen to find one, wow, you know, that'd be really nice to sharpen, sharpen a knife on. Well, pick it up, <laughs> you know, throw it in the bag, and uh, when you need it, you got it, right? And it's also good because um, you now know, as you practice using it, what you like to find in stones. So if you find yourself in a situation without a sharpening stone, but you do have a manufactured knife on you and you have to sharpen it, you know, you already have experience with selecting stones and, and using them. So, you know, you can find something good. You're not going to trash your blade. Okay, so let's just talk about what I have here. So I just have three stones. And this would be my core stone, one I would use first. You can see I've already, I've already used it. it. has I haven't really washed it since last time I used it. It has a lot of resins and tannins on it and stuff. This is good for axes or for, for knives. Um, any of these can be used for axes, but I just like using a, a large stone for an axe. This one has um, a very small flat area right here. On the top. <clears throat> Both of these would be um, like medium grits, you know, and a really high fine grit would be a river stone. This one has a few flat spots and it's like glassy smooth, which is just awesome, 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 awesome for putting that final edge on your blade. Alright, so let's put these things into practice. Alright, so my knife is already pretty sharp. So I really don't need to use the the rough stone first, the medium grip, but I use them uh, almost the same way as I do manufactured stone, except um, I only do circles. With manufactured stone, I go back and forth the length of the blade. I don't do that with natural stone. Uh, reason being is that I haven't found a stone that's perfectly flat long enough. <laughs> you know, it's like nice flat area, and then a half inch it it like moves you know what I mean it goes in or goes it goes out it has a, a, a convexity to it whatever the case is so you know it's hard to find a long area that you can you can um, put over put over your edge so I usually just do circles with this because it's much less um, demanding on the material you know I only need to have a small area that's flat alright so very simple stuff. I just lock down my arms as much as I can, just like it, I do, do with the uh, sharpening stone. I find the flattest place I can on the stone, kind of study it for a minute, get to know it, how I want to use it. All right. And then I put it up to my edge and I just watch for the gap, just like I do with my axes, like I do with everything. So right there, the shadow's gone. All right, I'm trying to get that in frame for you guys. So you turn it, and you just put it right up to the edge until the shadow disappears. And I just do light circles. My blade is already extremely sharp right now, so I really just have to touch this one up. Man, does that put a wicked edge on it. <laughs> That's, wow, man, <laughs> I love it. 
All right, so I'll do the same the other side. All right, let's go the whole whole edge of it, and it just feels fantastic. So I just do that as many times as necessary to get the knife where I want it. I use this edge this time. So I'm really light pressure, following the bevel as best as I can. Try to only use the flattest part of the stone. You know, and then go back and check your work. And this thing is absolutely deadly right now. This is actually a new a new stone I found recently. And it works better than any other stone I've ever used for finishing off the off my blade. I'm really pumped. Huge improvement. My blade's always sharp on natural stones, but <laughs> man, <laughs> that's a good one. So um, you know, it's just uh just it's just a really nice feeling you know using natural stones knowing that you know I can go out with just my knife and I can keep the most important tool that I own sharp with what I can find around me you know in the rivers you know alongside them streams things like that so it's it just gives a lot of confidence knowing that with this tool I don't even need this tool, but with this tool, life is a lot easier, right? With this tool being sharp from using stones, it stays easier. Because once your knife dulls, it's not so easy anymore if you're going to keep using this tool. All right, thanks for joining me today for using natural stones to sharpen your tools. Appreciate your views, your comments, and your support. See you in the next one. Take care.